we continue our we continue our our worldwide our global classroom for today on passion you see drive must be persistent drive must be really strong this is reverend dr idikai mary i am your host for this topic that i've been dealing with or should we call it a theme or something <laughs> I, I call it passion the ultimate driving force that's what i call it because without passion the earth will come to a standstill there will be no wall street going on money will not be exchanging hands people will not be involved in creativity but people are doing what they are doing and achieving things in science and technology and the art because of passion for what they do people are involved in in uh, non-profits to, to help out in the cause of relief to the world because of passion Today, I am talking to you. I am teaching on a little bit on the passion to bond. The passion to bond. You see, bonding is a very important thing. I'm going to deal with bonding separately as a book, as, as, as a teaching of its own. To bond. What it does that word means a whole lot to me the reason is because contemporary humanity are either maging that's what i call bonding or drifting apart most of the time i see them maging after a long period of drifting apart they mage, they drift apart, then something happened, and then they mage again, and then they, they and then they, they stay together. It should have been you bond first and you keep staying bonded together. I discovered that one of the secrets to success in the business world, in politics, in religion, in family life, in education, is the ability somewhat to form a circle of bonding with colleagues and people of similar mindset. Very important. You cannot have people of different mindset bonding. It will not work because it will create it will create fear and suspicions excuse me by the way you want to know the music that is playing is mozart he's one of my favorite uh, classical musician Mozart, Amadeus Mozart. I started listening to Mozart a long time ago, and I love it. Mozart, Beethoven, Vivaldi, Tchaikovsky, Mendelssohn, name them. Brahms, Handel, beautiful music. You see. The reason why God is more nearer to some people and a little bit farther from others has to do with the issue of bonding. 
of people's ability to bond or not to bond. Bonding is not, not necessarily attachment, but to some extent it is. It is rather, I will use the word, maging, ability to mage. I, I like the word so much that I feel like just teaching forever on bonding. It is the ability to mage in such a way that mind and spirit cultivate, produce, reproduce, interwove itself. And that mutual, that mutual understanding, that mutual passion and love to be around each other now produces greatness, fame, and riches. Because you are producing from that unitive possibility. That, that, that ability, that ability, that, 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 that arising, that unfolding from the imaging creates something. And what it creates always becomes what produces the fame, the greatness, and the riches. For, for that is primarily what the ultimate force of passion produces. You, you see, when I teach, it comes from the inside of me, from, from my innermost path. That is where my teachings, ability, unfold and emerge and develop wings. I am a master teacher. I am a world teacher. I'm, I am a world pastor, a world bishop. And that's why I'm here for you. I, I teach to solve problems. I preach to solve problems. I shepherd to solve problems. Not just for political reasons. Until there is a bonding, there is no production. That is why those who come to work for you somehow must bond with the article, with the article of the production system within your business. They must bond with it. Not, I'm not saying that they should bond with you. But to some extent, there will be some attachment to you as the leader of the corporation. You, 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 you cannot become successful in the corporate world and investment without some form of attachment, some form of maging with somebody either within your class or above your class, but not, not below it. You see, we, we fail in life because we go below our class. And when we go below our class to do business, they pull us down or to marry. I, I mean, I mean that there, there, there is a place where love uh, look the other way. But if you really want that love to be passionate and strong and last, that love should be within his class or tend to further it a little bit, push it a little bit further. That's why I say two poor people should never marry. Two poor people should never marry because they will destroy themselves. The, the word love is not enough to carry two poor people together. It's not enough to carry you forward. At least one person should have been ahead 
doing things that is generating income and will, will, will break out into fame, greatness, and riches. It must. If not, you are marrying into failure. You, you, you are, you are, your boat will, will capsize, your boat will sink. Strong bonding is needed in marriage. If there is no bonding, where there is no fear, where there is no um, fear of trust, where everything is put, where, where the order is accepted, just as they are, if that doesn't happen, then that marriage is going on a ruin. Bonding is the first thing that a human being does in the belly, in the womb. That's why humans come, humans are formed in the womb in order to, to make a human bond with the mother. And when the baby finally, in fact, I will always want a situation that a mom should not carry the pregnancy or go through a period of pregnancy all by herself. Let me rephrase the word. I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, an expecting mother. She will not go through the months of, of pregnancy all by herself and the day of delivery all by herself. That's madness. For some women, it doesn't matter, but this is why I'm saying so. Because the father needs to begin to bond with the baby in the womb also. So that the baby does not just bond with the mom, but begin to bond with the father. A father should begin to talk to the baby. Should be able to rub the woman's belly and talk gently to the baby because a baby in the belly is already listening. Just like every cell in our body is listening to what we say. That's how it should be. So, so I want a situation that fathers are allowed to begin to bond with their babies. And when the babies finally comes out, the father should also be the first person to bond to bond with the new baby. <laughs> so he's going to downtown. So, bonding is very important. A father must bond with a child. And the mother must bond with a child. Families that break down, break down because, because there is no bonding. Families are dysfunctional because there is no bonding of family members. Everybody want to do their own little things, want to live their own little lives. And that is not fair. It's not fair. I'm not saying we should not live our independent life, but for quality to be created and to image and to keep our families going, there must be, there must be, I repeat, there must be that place where bonding take place where bonding also means the ability of each person to bring of their best and we put it together and bring something out of it then something a possibility thing is created and that possibility thing that the bonding create is the fame it is the greatness and the riches it is the protection the promotion. A possibility life emerges where there is a strong bonding. But where there is a strong detachment, there is no bonding, the possibility of chaos and problem is very big. So harmony is needed for the passion to bond 
to image harmony with the, the with the other person so if you are somebody that continually you are a complaining person you are a fearful person you are uh, you have strong selfish ambition passion for strong selfish ambition then it's not gonna work it's not gonna work you cannot bond so so begin to practice the art of bonding of collaborating of crossing aisles of of enjoying the other person's viewpoint let somebody else contribute to your life and you contribute to that person's life that is what bonding is about that's what true bonding is about it is both of you coming together and bringing all that you are together and then something good emerges out of it at the end of the day and then if it continue like that on and on and on and on and on then something even far more great and bigger is gonna come out of it but before this could happen before strong bonding could happen there must be a passion for it it does not just happen there must be a strong passion to see bonding happen a bonding a strong passion between a mom and a baby a father and a and a and a and a, and a, and a, and a baby nowadays the reason why there is so much divorce is because there was no bonding there was no bonding before the marriage when bonding happened that marriage cannot break that relationship cannot break but there is no bonding and as far as there is no bonding well nothing don't expect don't expect something where there is nothing i say it again don't expect something where there is nothing call me call me and um i would love to be your teacher your world teacher i will want now let me say something before i stop here i want you to enjoy being with the other person i want you to enjoy bonding also with god okay now let me get back to what i'm saying call me I would love to be your teacher, your trainer, your master coach. Join me in the 1000 plus club, reach 1000 plus club of Idika Emeris Ministries. And I am here for you. I will see you in the next series. Bye bye.